Canada, the Montreal Canadiens, and the Tampa Bay Lightning. Real hockey is only on 2K Sports. Sports Network and the National Hockey League welcome you to the St. Pete Times Forum in downtown Tampa. I'm Randy Hahn and with me is Drew Remenda. Thanks for tuning in to exciting NHL action here on the 2K Sports Network. We're ready to go here for the first face-off of tonight's game. Hedman picks up the loose puck in his own zone. Montreal picks it up already in the zone. The puck is hit up the left side. And what a playmaker he is. The shot fans just shy of the left goal post. Here's LaPierre. Behind the goalie. Now LaPierre with it. He dekes it. Sent back to the point. He, he makes the save using his shoulder there. He's with the puck in the neutral zone. He's got it over the blue line. Save! He covers the puck. We'll have a face-off. The goalie will be preparing the left side of the net here for this face-off. Tampa Bay grabs it. They're on side. And he shoots! The ref stopping play, the net's dislodged. And when the net comes off its moorings like that, unless it's a goal situation where it could be an intentional dislodging of the net, it's time to start up play again at the circles near the blue line. They're ready now for the puck drop. Face off taken by Montreal in their zone. Hoodler, always dangerous. Montreal regains possession attacking zone. I think they're going to go at it. Here we go. The solid jab. Got a piece on that one. Can't keep his feet and down to the ice he goes. As the fight winds down, we'll have to keep an eye out for future fisticuffs. No love lost between any of these guys. Number 40, five minutes for fighting. Tampa Bay penalty two, number 20, five minutes for fighting. And now we're going to have a face-off to the left side of the net. Petri picks up top right again, save. And here's Hoogler. And John Graham holds on to that, we'll have a face-off. And Montreal penalty two. Number 40, Barry Tallickson at 4.02. And this face-off on Graham's right side. Tampa Bay in their zone. And now Graham holding on to that will have a face-off. Gets the puck loose. Protecting the left side of the net. And Montreal with it now in the attacking zone. Up the left side. Puck back to the point. He gets hip check. He lands the jab there. Swills him with a jab. Legs go out from under him. That's gotta hurt. And as they go to the ice, the officials will break it up. Montreal penalty two, number 62, five minutes for fighting. 
Tampa Bay penalty dude, number 81. Five minutes for fighting. And John Graham ready there on the right side. And now the Bolts with it in their own zone. It's set up the left side to the point. Evans. Fired with Five possession. And Graham stops it. And John Graham gets the whistle. We'll have a face off. Number 62. Nate McDonald at 509. And the biscuit's just about to drop. Boshaman handles it. And the Lightning trying to get on the board. And now Tampa Bay with it across the blue line. Now it looks like some conflict on the ice. Nailed it. Good. What a quick one. With the jab. Oh, and a good shot sends him sprawling. And as the fight comes to a close, we'll see what the consequences will be. Montreal penalty to number eight. Five minutes for fighting. Tampa Bay penalty to number 11. Five minutes for fighting. Face-off coming up, ready to get the action started. And Montreal has the puck defensive zone. Gains control of the loose puck in the offensive zone. Tyler. The little D. The pass broken up. Five minutes for fighting. He can dish the puck, folks. Montreal It's fed back to the point. Ryan at six. Save. He scores. And they get out in front first here on the road. Oh, someone's got to wake up in front of the goaltender. He just made a terrific save. If he doesn't make it, they're down by two, and we're only in the first period. And it looked like he may have gotten a piece of it with his skate, but not enough, and it's behind him. Yeah, those loose puck situations are always scary in front of the net. And this play shows why. Definitely scary. That is, if you're on defense, or the goalie, or the coach, for that matter. The Canadiens are excited about that one here in the first period. When you get the go-ahead goal up on the board, that's a good feeling. Tampa Bay Montreal looking goal. to tie it. Number 24. Nate and here comes the Lightning. Armstrong. Save Assisted made. He got some lumber out Number to knock 90. the shot away. Matt and the Canadiens Elliot. pushing it up. Save and off the right pad. Six. At center. Weber. Tampa Bay At trying to get four. set up again. He's checked by Weber. Canadiens leading by one. He brings the puck past the blue line. Save. He got the left pad on it. And he shoots. He gets it. He covers it up. Coming in off the bench, they give their forwards a rest with the line change. And now the faceoff, ready to drop the puck. Here's Shea Weber. Gets to the loose puck in the attacking zone. He goes down from the shoulder check. Right down, flat on the pond. What a classic shoulder hit. Hedman controls the puck on defense. Nylander, he's been to the box once tonight. It's shot. Weber handles it. He's got one assist. He connects with the jab. with a solid hit, and that does it. As the fight winds down, we'll have to keep an eye out for future fisticuffs. No love lost between any of these guys. Montreal penalty to number 40. Five minutes for fighting. Tampa Bay penalty to number 20. Five minutes for fighting. Price in net, bracing himself for the faceoff. Gets possession of the loose puck. Some conflict here, Drew. This could be a fight now. Officials out of the way. Five minutes for fighting. And 
Tagged him there. Quick punch. Ouch. Gets some leverage and topples his foe. And they still want a piece of each other, but they'll be restrained now by the official. Montreal penalty to number 73. Five minutes for fighting. Tampa Bay penalty to number 81. Five minutes for fighting. The referee will drop the puck left of the net. Wins the faceoff and takes control. Now Tampa Weber holds the puck at center. LaPierre. Brennan Evans. Five Pass from the corner. LaPierre's got it. And he shoulder checked. Number he feeds it up and the left side. Maxwell. And the lightning coming in. Deeks it. He shoots. They deflect the shot. Anderson. Here we go with Montreal now. Oh, the coach is going to love this if he can get this player to hit the way he just did. He's in business. Classic open ice confrontation. The puck is centered. Stops the centering pass, picking it off. He controls the puck along the boards. Here's Dennis Seidenberg. Beauchemin. Now Montreal's got it. The pass no good. Now Beauchemin. Tampa Bay moving up. It's Price. Sink. Goal. They tie it up here in the first period as these teams go back and forth. The puck just skips by the right path, off the rebound, and that's one they earn. Yeah, great second effort by the shooter. Anticipates the angle of the rebound and is in perfect position to capitalize. The Lightning have come right back and tied this one up. That goal is a great refresher. You get down early, but now they've come back and tied it up. And you're right back to where you started here in the first. You gotta like this hit. Take it in the neutral zone before they can get to your blue line. Super hit. Gains possession in the defensive zone. Assisted by... Taken into the zone by the Habs. LaPierre's got it. Puck back to the point. He shoots. It's in the middle. In down low. Two minutes. Pudler shot save. Gets the ref's attention. Hooking is the call. Tampa Bay penalty to number 18. Two minutes for hooking. Randy, there's not much question on this one. He gave him a nice ride with the stick here. Well, Drew, I think the player getting hooked would be upset too, don't you agree? Well, that's definitely understood. And if you don't get the call, you can bet there might be retaliation later. And Tampa Bay wins the draw in their zone. A minute 44 to go. Number 18. And the Canadiens pick it up. River. Two First power play for Montreal now. Sends it. The puck bounces off the glass. It's batted out of play over the glass. They like to keep the ice just right, and I can tell by the frost accumulating on my nose. For the fans at home, you'll be glad you've got your heaters. It's some frigid conditions down here in the box. Now Halper. The puck is hit up the left side. Stolen by Montreal. Perry. Now Montreal. 16 seconds left. He shoots it. Can't get the shot on goal. We've got a tie game here after the first period. One to one. We've got a chance to take a quick look at some great action from the first period on your screen. Now let's throw it over to John Schrader for the 2K Sports Intermission Report brought to you by XM. Here play-by-play -play of your favorite NHL team no matter where you are. The NHL on XM. Every team, every game. Thank you, Randy. It's the first period edition of the 2K Sports Intermission Report. We've got more stats than you can shake a stick at. The Canadiens aren't too enamored with this officiating crew right now, as they probably feel like they've gotten the short end of the stick when it comes to penalties. Check the totals. They'll just have to be extra cautious going forward. Number 24 is our player of the game to this point. Yes, he's got the one goal, but his impact on the game has been so much more than that. You almost hate to see one team lose after a game like this. Both sides have been playing their hearts out. 
I wish I could stay put, but this 2K Sports Intermission Report is out of time. At the break, it's a stalemate at one. Randy and Drew are ready again in the booth, so it's time to give it back to them. Thanks, John. Great job, buddy. The Lightning are coming out now after the first intermission, and you've got to believe these guys will be looking to jump out into the lead here. The risk can be taking too many chances trying to get that go-ahead goal, and in the process, giving up a quick one. The Lightning, with only four men on the ice, are looking to finish this penalty kill without a score. Price saves the shorthanded attempt. Oh, there they go. The Canadians on the rush. Stall. The puck nails the glass and bounces out. The court stones the one-timer with a stick save. And it's cleared out by Tampa Bay trying to kill this off. Here's Yuri Hoodler. Stall handles it. Penalty over. We're back to five aside. He shot. He scores, and they jump out here in the second period with the early go-ahead goal. Oh, and it goes off the goaltender and ends up in the net for a score. I know this happens from time to time, Drew, but that certainly can't help the goalie now. Definitely not, Randy. You never want it to happen to you. You can see his look on the replay, where he feels it hit him. And I'm sure it's accompanied by a sinking feeling in the pit of his stomach. A highlight real play for sure. And now Tampa Bay center ice. Montreal goal. Scored. Price saved. His team leading by one here. Up the left side. Assisted by Anderson with the move. And here come the Canadian with the save. And his team looking to get this one tied up. 14. Yuri. Hudler. Tampa Bay back at into the zone. Sent back to the point. And it bounces off the glass. Price hangs on. The Lightning switch up their defensemen out on the ice. It's time for a quick update. Let's send it ringside with John Schrader. Yeah, Randy, as they came out of the locker room, I talked with the head coach of the Canadiens. He joked that his job would be much easier if his guys could always play like they did over the course of the opening period. He was also glad that his team was playing within themselves and doing the little things right. As an example of one of those little things, he mentioned controlling the puck. So basic, but so important. Some good analysis. Let's see how it plays out. Okie dokie, John. The action continues. The puck is hit up the left side. Canadian stick save. In the splits, he pulls it off. The Lightning need one goal to tie. He's a good stick handler. At center ice. Price stops the shot. Headed bottom right. York. Dumps it in. Carried into the corner. Killorn gets control of the puck in his own zone. Gets his stick on the loose puck. He shoots. And it hits hard off the plexiglass. And Montreal regains the puck on the attack. They stop that shot. He's holding the puck in the neutral zone. Malakash has got it along the boards. He's a dangerous scorer. Killorn has the puck. He's been to the box once tonight. And a save. He took away the five hole. He scores! And here in the second period, that will tie this game up. Control, terrific skating, it all came together here, Randy. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that if you can score like he just did. He just pulled up in the slot and delivered the puck to a nice section of ice behind the goaltender. <laughs> yep, that's the perfect home for the puck if you're the guy shooting. Nice play. The Lightning showing they can get right back in it. Boy, that was a big goal. Second period, huge. You don't want to be down when the second period's over, and now they have a chance to take the lead. Now Tampa Bay's got it. The puck comes Number out of the 71. corner. Holding Brandon. him along the wall. He fires. Morrison. Play is stopped as the puck gets that knocked out. Over. Oh, it looks like somebody's going home with a souvenir tonight, Randy. What a catch. 
And we're going to start up action again. And now the have center ice. Saved. And that's going to force a face-off as Graham hangs on to it. The ref's got the puck in his hand, and he's ready to start things up again. And Montreal gets possession at the offensive end. He gets shoulder checked, taken away by Tampa Bay. And that's going to force a face-off as Graham hangs on to it. Back out there, his team switching up D-line. The face-off to the left of Graham. Controlled at center. Now Tampa Bay into the zone. The blocker save. Puck deflects away. Here's Morrow. It's passed to the point. Montreal grabs it. They're on side. Saves the shot to the right side. Morrow's got it. He feeds it up the left side. Fires just wide of the left post. Here come the Lightning with a chance. The pass doesn't make it there. Now Morrow with it. And Brett Lebda with it. Shot. No good. He scores. The puck dinged off the inside of the right post. I don't know if that was a screen or just some kind of crazy distraction. Hey, look at me. Either way, the goal was inevitable. The goalie just couldn't react in time. Looking back on the replay, he does look like he's having problems seeing where it's coming from. And it just gets by. That could definitely be the case. The Canadiens get the go-ahead goal. Boy, you love seeing that one up on the board. And they have done it here in the second period. And center ice picked up by the Lightning. Montreal goal. He feeds it up Score the left side. Number 40. Always Mary's have to watch out for him. And a stick save. He did a great job of getting the stick up there fast. This guy's and amazing. Maxwell. Now and Seidenberg along the boards. And he's Price saved. The wrister denied with great positioning there. And they'll face off on the right side of the goaltender. Halpern handles it. And Nylander now. Up the left side. Anderson and the Canadiens coming in. The little deep. It's fired back. And John Graham gets the whistle. We'll have a face off. It's time to get this game going again. Here's the puck drop. The Lightning need one goal to tie. Now at center ice. Getting held up along the wall. Two minutes left in the period. He's got one goal tonight. Steals away the right side pass. Seidenberg handles it. He's been to the box once tonight. Here's Dennis Seidenberg. Skates across the blue line with less than a minute in the period. Nylander's got it on the side. Fed out from the corner. Over to the point. And here's Nylander. Saved with his glove. They blow the whistle as he covers the puck. Tampa Bay a chance to change. Price protects the right side of his goal as the skaters will face off. Six seconds left. We finish the second period of play here tonight. The score, three to two. It's highlight real time here on the 2K Sports Network, presenting some finer plays we've witnessed so far tonight. John Schrader is waiting to break things down for us. Let's not keep him waiting any longer as we start the 2K Sports Intermission Report, brought to you by XM. Your play-by-play -play of your favorite NHL team, no matter where you are. The NHL on XM. Every team, every game.
Thank you, thank you. I can't wait to get the 2K Sports Intermission Report going again. The Canadiens are putting on a clinic at the offensive end of the ice, scoring in a number of ways and making it look easy. We don't usually see this kind of display, but it's a testament to their skill and desire. Barry Talixson has stood out for his team. Just the one goal on the board for him to this point, but he's hustled nonstop and he seems hungry for more. The fans are on the edge of their seats in this one, and they're being treated to some real good action. Not a lot of goals, but high drama nonetheless. Unfortunately, we've got to wrap up this 2K Sports and Emission Report. To reiterate, Montreal leads it 3-2. to two. See you next break for another report. Now we throw it back up to Randy and Drew. Okie dokie, Johnny. Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. The Canadiens have to stay focused here as we get the third period rolling. They can't let that one goal lead slip away. Lots of teams have watched their third period lead evaporate. And those third period goals are hard to come by. Snags the puck on the faceoff. Here's Shea Weber. He's got one assist. There it is. Montreal on the rush. Behind the goalkeeper now. He decides to center the puck. Backhand shot. Off the glass. And now the kid. Save on the backhand shot attempt. No luck getting that one by. Is it my imagination or did the building shake on that one, Randy? What a crushing hit. Controlling it around back. And now Tampa Bay in their zone. Hedman is pinning him along the glass. From the corner, the puck's out in the middle. Managed to get in front of the shot. It's sent up the left side. Montreal able to grab it at the offensive end. Save on that shot. He was trying to go high right. The Canadiens steal it. Weber handles it. Pass back. Taken across the blue line by the Canadiens. And Tampa Bay has the puck defensive zone. And now Graham holding on to that will have a faceoff. Savard coming off the bench as his team makes the D-line changeup. And now Graham positioning himself on the left side. Tampa Bay looking to tie it. Stick going inside there. Here's Jeff Halpern. Now Michael Nylander. He's controlling the puck at center ice. He's with the puck at center. And now the Canadiens with it in their own zone. Gets to the loose puck in the attacking zone. The pass is missed. He pulls off a move. The puck is hit up the left side. Now, save! He stops the breakaway. It's hit out. The puck is centered. The biscuit smashes into the glass. Behind the goal. Petri. The Lightning need one goal to tie. The Canadiens will be getting the call. Price. Goal! They tie the game here in the third period. This thing's getting exciting, and it just might be headed to OT. Coaches love these kinds of plays, especially when you've got a rebound coming out like on this play that gets picked up by your attackers right in front. This time, he hammered it off the right post. Right post and in. So many goals, Randy, get scored off rebounds. As a goalie, you're vulnerable, and everybody knows it. That's a great rebound goal. Definitely a feel-good score. In the neutral zone, the Lightning with it. Coleman, look. The best time to get him is before they get started. This is what he did in the neutral zone. Good hit. Now Michael Nylander. Back behind the net. Up the left side. Carry the lucky break. The shot deflected off his head. It goes to the point. Kennedy. It's intercepted. And Nylander now. And here save. And here's Mike York. 25. Morrow. Jeff Halper. Canadians can't hang on to it. The puck hits off the plexiglass. Sent into the corner. And now the Habs in their zone. At the point, has it on the board. Fed out from the corner. It's loose. Has it center ice. Now the Lightning right back in. Weber handles it. 
And now Montreal with it across the blue line. Comes away with the save. Hey, you say you want to be an NHL goalie? Okay, then try to snare shots like that one. Tie game here in the third. Team's ready for the drop. And the Lightning pick it up. He's got it down low. Price covers the puck. And it looks like they're ready down there to get things going again. Tampa Bay picks it up already in the zone. Saved a huge chance for the Lightning. The Tampa Bay fans anticipating the game winner. Saved. Another stop. Now in the corner, LaPierre. Lightning swooping in. He's been to the box once tonight. Price with the blocker save. Here's LaPierre. He's got one goal tonight. The centering pass is made. Off the stick of Graham. Mr. Clutch. Game tied. Third period almost over. And he comes up with a dandy. What a save. He feeds it up the left side. Center ice. He shoots. Off a player and up off the glass. Here's Shea Weber. He's got one assist. Past the blue line. And now the Bolts with it in their own zone. Tries a deep. They dump it in. Weber skating with it now in his own zone. He controls the puck in the neutral zone. A minute 50. Save. Positions his body for the stop. Already visited the box twice. Off the glass, the puck goes. The puck is hit up the left side. Anderson and Montreal brings it back in. And he's checked. And the Lightning pick it up. And here come the Lightning. The horn sounds to end the third period as the teams get set to battle in OT. We've got some time now. Let's hand it over to John Schrader for the 2K Sports Intermission Report brought to you by XM. Here play-by-play -play of your favorite NHL team no matter where you are. The NHL on XM. Every team, every game. Bonus hockey coming our way tonight, but tradition is tradition, so on with the show. The Lightning are controlling that face-off circle, and that's perhaps the most important stat, other than goals, of course. But the team that wins more face-offs usually scores more goals, so they're more closely related than you might think. Eric Stahl is the player everyone's talking about. He's been all effort and all hustle, leaving everything out on the ice, and he's been rewarded with a goal. It's been a well-played game up to now, and it's hard to handicap how things are going to play out. These teams have been fairly evenly matched. Now it's time to wrap up this 2K Sports Intermission Report. Once more, it's a draw thus far at three. Now as the game gets back underway, once again, here's Randy and Drew. Thank you, John. Informative as always. The Canadiens seem very determined to own this overtime. We've got some exciting action as these guys get set to do battle. Here we are at the start of overtime. The next goal wins the game. In the neutral zone, the Canadiens with it. Now Weber. All right, this is sudden death. Montreal wants it badly. The fans showing it. We're going to see a hooking penalty call. Tampa Bay penalty to number 37. Two minutes for hooking. Let's check out that call on the replay to see if he was guilty of hooking. Sometimes players just give a little yank on the stick to slow a guy down. But this was more than a little yank. That's usually a good call. And if you don't get a penalty and you're the guy getting yanked, you are not happy about it. 
The Canadiens have got themselves a power play. Let's see if they can wind up their offensive machine and get some scoring opportunities here. And Tampa Bay gets to it and clears it out of the zone. Two minutes for hooking. Here's Shea Weber. Canadiens swooping in. Second power play for the Montreal Canadiens. They didn't score on their first. Misses just barely to the left. And they clear the puck, trying to kill this penalty now. In deep. Now, Beauchemin along the save. He denies the backhand. Clock down to a minute 49. All right, this is sudden death. Montreal wants it badly. The fans showing it to the point. Now Weber. One Over to Weber. The period. Now York keeps his team alive on the penalty kill with a great save. Fires just wide of the left post. And now Tampa Bay is able to clear it out. And now the Habs in their zone. One penalty's over. It's now four on four. We'll have to determine a winner with a shootout. I love the excitement out on the ice for these players, Drew. Talk about a way to wrap it up. And here at the break, we hand it over to John Schrader for a look at the numbers on the 2K Sports Intermission Report brought to you by XM. Here play-by-play -play of your favorite NHL team, no matter where you are. The NHL on XM. Every team, every game. Hi, folks. It's been a long night. Welcome to what will most certainly be my last intermission report. The Lightning are out battling the other team for the puck at the majority of the draws in this one. And that's enabled them to keep control of the action out there. Look out for any matchup changes from the opposition. Eric Stahl gets the nod as our MVP thus far. He's tickled the twine once thus far and has threatened on a number of occasions. I like games like these. Every shift, every possession means something, and you better believe that those players know it. Okay, we've come to the close of another 2K Sports Intermission Report. One more time, we've got a tie at three. Okay, now let's get ready for the rest of the game. Back to Randy and Drew. And Montreal up first in the shootout. He's skating in now. Fired. Shootout still scoreless. Shooting first for the Tampa Bay Lightning. That's a hospital. Will be the next up for Tampa Bay. Skating in. Goalie set. He shoots. Both teams struggling to get on the board still. These goalies are shutting them out. Canadians. Mike Blumen. Up second for his team in the shootout. Skating in. Goalie set. Stopped. Goaltender focused on the shootout. Okay. Double goose egg here. Jeremy Buell. Shooting next for the Lightning. And here it is. Fired. Next for the Montreal Canadiens, Paul. Byron, third up to shoot. He's skating in now. He stops that one. Both teams struggling to get on the board still. These goalies are shutting them out. Joseph Melikon. Johnson gets set to shoot for the Lightning. And here it is. Stopped on the shootout. Still deadlocked. No Up goals yet. Montreal, the save he makes there, Randy, is no amateur Aaron move. He Stop. used his quickness and athleticism to kick, timing it perfectly to hit the puck. Nice play. 
Stahl will be the fourth shooter for his team. And here it is. Oh, it stopped. Now the onus is on the other goalie to do the same. If he doesn't stop it, he loses it for his team. This is great stuff. No goals yet in the shootout. Hedman up next for Tampa Bay. This is a do-or-die moment right now. Off the post, can't get closer. Well, nobody on the board. Goalies are really doing their job so far. Up next in this shootout. Skating in, goalie set. And here's Latondres. Goalie's perfect in this one so far. Maroon will be up next. And talk about pressure. He's got to stop this shot. Here's Redden. Still no goals yet. Up next for the Montreal Canadiens, Matt Elliott. Is shooting next. And here he comes. Shoots. And we've seen saves, but no goals yet. Up next, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Steve Ferguson. Here's the next shooter. Can he come up big for his team here one last time? Oh, and the save. His team's going wild right now. They know he just kept them in this shootout. Well, nobody on the board. Goalies are really doing their job so far. Weber up next in this shootout. And he's skating in now. And they set the pace here, getting the goal. And now the other team must match it. Talk about pressure, baby. Well, they're on the board with that one. one nothing. Not a bad first step. Now they're the one to beat. Tampa Bay Lightning, Michael Nealon. Coleman will shoot next. He has the game on his stick. No goal, and they lose the shootout and lose the game. The Canadiens take the win with a shootout victory. Boy, Drew, we were witness to an exciting finish and quite a game. The Canadiens show what it takes to prevail in the closest of games here as they snatch this shootout win away. And Drew, that was exciting. Randy, I love these games that are just tight all the way to the end. Trading goals, trading big defensive stops. You're kept wondering all the way to the end who's going to come out on top. Even the OT couldn't decide this one. At some point, you just say, okay, this is a stalemate. Neither team is going to give the other an easy way out. So you have to let him shoot it out. And that's just fun to watch. Thanks for tuning in to tonight's NHL presentation here on the 2K Sports Network. We hope you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast, and we hope to see you next time. I'm Randy Hahn, along with Drew Remenda. We'll see you later.